It's one of the most dangerous competition series in the ski and snowboard world. Nowhere else will you find so many maniacs in one place racing down impossible lines on mountain faces that seem to go vertically straight down. Welcome to the 2012 edition of the Swatch Freeride World Tour. Perfect weather conditions welcome 56 of the world's best free ski and snowboard pros at the second tour stop in Chamonix. At one of the most renowned and legendary ski resorts, the athletes impress with their skills on the north face of Pontu Hotel on the French side of Mont Blanc. The 600 meter face is crowned by three different starting options so that the competitors have loads of playful line choices. We start things off with the Ski Ladies. American Jackie Paso delights everyone with one of her trademark cliff jumps in the lower part of the face. She takes first place in front of Angel Collinson, also from the USA, who plays second at the last stop in Revelstoke as well. The snowboard chicks are as suicidal as their skiing buddies, and the North American riders dominated this discipline as well. Maria Dabari chooses a perfect line and impresses with a fluid and successful descent to secure herself some precious metal. Let's take a look at the men's snowboard division where the local French boy Aurélien Routin found a solid line and shows some nice drops. Unfortunately, he messes up the last one and places in third. Ralph Backstrom tries to get the third gold medal for the USA in Chamonix. He chooses a very difficult line which makes his style a little bit too sketchy. He takes the runner-up spot, second place for him. Last guy out is a local Jonathan Charlet who knows this face like no one else. With the best run of the day taking a creative line on the right of the face with a nice 360 at the end, he leaves no doubt about his victory. I'm, I'm very happy to uh, stay in Chamonix and to do that competition in Chamonix because today it was a uh, really good condition. The snow was a little bit uh, compact but very good and I'm happy to not fall on my, on my line so uh, that's perfect. So just the men's free ski loonies are missing. After seeing such critical lines and nearly impossible cliff drops, some athletes want to push the limits and give the audience something extraordinary. Like two-time free ski world champ Aurelien Ducrot. He chose the hardest of all the lines on the north face and was so fast entering the roller coaster that he went down. Ouch! For sure I'd like to have the same performance as over the past two years. The idea is after all to win the tour again this year. I don't know if I have more or less pressure compared to other seasons, but at least I feel good on my skis and that's what matters. The fourth medal in Chamonix for the US team goes to tour newcomer Oakley White Allen who placed third right after Ryan Abakarid from Sweden. But the surprise of the second Freeride World Tour stop was Sam Smoothie from New Zealand. He was smooth and clean throughout, a textbook freeride lesson for any other athlete with World Tour ambitions. The Kiwi battled through qualifiers and injuries over the last few seasons and proved that persistence always pays off, hitting the top rung of the podium for the first time. Nicely done, Sam. I, I don't even know, it's just like amazing. It's a, just a dream to, to win in Chamonix. Oh. Uh, just, you know, I came here with a lot of pressure. I crashed in Rivelstoke and uh, I'm very sick as well. I have the flu and I just felt terrible the last three days and this makes it so worthwhile. <laughs> I can't believe it. I'm, I'm stunned. Absolutely stunned. The next tour stop will be just on the other side of Mont Blanc in the small Italian village of Courmayeur. Don't miss that one. 